Hey, welcome back. All right, today is part two of my declutter series. I'm doing my second pink drawer. These are my darker pinks. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know how many of these I'm going to be decluttering. I really do enjoy brighter, darker neon pinks on the toes. So I may only end up decluttering one or two, and if I do, that's fine with me. The whole point of this declutter is not to just get rid of a bunch of polish, but to just love everything that I have. So like I said, if I only get rid of a couple, that's fine with me. I don't want to have any kind of regrets about getting rid of a polish. I know that's stupid. This is polished, you know, you know what's to regret. However, as a collector, you, if you're watching my channel, you probably know what I, what I mean. Um, little disclaimer, I'm not going to be showing swatches just in case you missed the first video. Um, I did spend an entire year sharing my entire collection with swatches, so I'm not going to share swatches. Um, if I am leaning one way or another, I can't decide for whatever reason if I should declutter something, I'm not going to declutter it. With that in mind, I did decide off camera that I'm going to be keeping Night Owl Lacquer on the bright side from the first video. I know I should get rid of this, but part of me just feels like I don't want to get rid of it, therefore I'm going to keep it. And then finally, I know you're going to be staring at my nails the entire video, so let me tell you what's on my nails. I have one coat of Midnight by Never Naked by Jackie, it's a black cream, and then one coat of Cuticula's Belle Nuit, and this is absolutely amazing. I love this, Manny. This is so gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this one is definitely a declutter. I hate this polish so much. So we're starting off with a bang. I know at least I'm gonna be decluttering one polish. This is Orly's Mauve something, Shimmering Mauve. I got this for Black Friday in a trio. There was two toppers that I really wanted and it was cheaper to buy the trio than it was to just buy the two toppers separately. So even though I knew that I was probably going to hate this, it was, like I said, cheaper just to buy it with the trio than to not. So this is hideous. I hate this. I'm gonna be decluttering this. I even tried to use this on my swatch wheel as undies for you know prettier flakies, and this was just, it was hideous. Definitely going. Okay, then we have KB Shimmers. Let's Not Coral. Beautiful, I'm keeping this. I have a bunch of KB Shimmers creams. Um, years and years ago, like when they were first on the scene, they did a lot of creams. They don't really do creams now, but they did them back then and all their creams are really nice. They have beautiful formulas. So I'm not gonna be getting rid of any of them. The collector in me just can't get rid of my KB Shimmers. I have over the years gotten rid of a lot of KB Shimmer Crowleys before I knew how to restore them with base. I kept trying to restore them with um, nail polish thinner and it eventually didn't work anymore. And I'm honestly kind of gutted about all the KB Shimmer Crowleys that I decluttered. Okay, so then we have Essie's Beachy Keen. I'm definitely keeping this one. I can't wait to wear this one this spring on my toes. This is beautiful. It has just enough pink in it to not be peach and I really, really like it. And I love the brightness of this. Okay, then we have LA Colors Glow in the Dark. This one is Bootastic. I have pretty much all of these glow in the dark jellies. The glow in the dark factor is negligible. It's, you know, you don't get this for the glow in the dark factor. I got this for the cute jelly property for jelly sandwiches. I have a couple. I think two of them are pink um, and I'll be keeping the, both of them. I don't see it right now, but when we get to it, oh, I think this is it. Yeah, here we go. Um, the other pink one is Love Potion. So I'll definitely be keeping both of these. I think they have nice formulas and they're fun for jelly sandwiches. Okay, and then we have Boo Bird Fright Attendant, so pretty. I got this one from Barb a couple years ago and I haven't worn it yet, but it's so, so pretty. And I keep saying I need to, <clears throat> need to wear it in the fall and I just haven't gotten to it yet. But I wanna make a point to wear this one this year. Okay, then another KB Shimmer. This one is Bahama Drama. I'm definitely keeping this one. Like I said, I can't let go of my KB Shimmers. Okay, then we have Emily Damali, The Devil's Side. So pretty, look at those glowing flakes, beautiful. 
Some of the creams, if I start to notice that a lot of them are looking kind of similar, I will set them aside. And like I did in the first video, I will do swatches off camera and then I'll come back and I'll let you know if I decide to keep or declutter any of them. Okay, then we have Zoya's Lola. This one is so pretty. Definitely keeping this one. This one is really fun in the summer. Okay, and then we have Polished for Days Wood Note. I'm definitely keeping this one. This one is so beautiful. I love Polished for Days Glowing Flakes. They're just, they're so good. And I've already worn this one a couple times. I've worn it opaque on its own, and I believe I wore it as a topper. I want to say I wore it as a topper over a black. Really, really beautiful. Okay, then we have Satinin Polish. I think it's pronounced Satinin I got this one from my friend Lisa, and this one is The Wisdom of the Leaves. I'm pretty sure this is a magnetic. I don't know how I feel about this one overall. I want to at least wear it once before I decide. Um, so I'm going to try to get to this in the fall, and then I could possibly see myself decluttering this in the future, but for now, I want to at least try it. Okay, then we have OPI's Temperature is Rising. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. So for now, I'm gonna keep this one. I might set this one aside to see if I have similar pinks. So let me set that one over here. Okay, then we have Zoya's Marsha. This one is really pretty. It's kind of like a dusty, rosy pink. I really like that one. I might have some that are similar, so I'll also set this one aside. Okay, then we have Viragra Varnish Tsunami Mommy. I'm definitely keeping this one. This one is so beautiful. I've had this for years and years. I don't believe Virago Varnish is even a brand anymore, are they? I haven't heard anything about them in years. But this one is beautiful. It has an amazing formula. It's a bright neon pink. Okay, then we have Restored by Polish Fight the Stigma. This was a collab that um, Jacqueline did with Joe from Polish Talk with Joe. Gonna keep this one. This is really pretty. It has a really nice formula. Just a bright neon pink with those fun glitters. Okay, then we have Zoya's Rooney. I really like this one. I haven't worn it in a while. I think the last time I wore this was maybe two years ago. And this is really nice. It's just a really pretty mid-tone pink cream. Kind of like a, a darker Barbie pink. Really pretty. Okay, then we have Zoya's Cadence. Really pretty. You know what? I might have I might have worn this as a combo once. I feel like I wore this with undies before and it might have been Rooney. Really pretty. Okay, then we have Polish Me Silly 24 Hour Glow. Got this from my friend Laura. She was decluttering this. And I've never tried Polish Me Silly and I've never tried a... Um, uh, what is that word? Um, I'm drawing a blank on what the word is. Um, pastel. I've never tried a pastel multi-chrome, so I thought I would give this a try. I might declutter this in the future because I'm not the biggest fan of multi-chromes, but I want to at least give this a try. So for now, I'll keep this one, but possibly declutter this in the future. Okay, then we have Color Clubs. East Austin, I'm definitely keeping this one. I spent like two years trying to get a hold of this polish in every single website that sells color clubs. This was always sold out. I couldn't find it in stores. I finally found this and I'm definitely keeping this one. This one is just so pretty. And I know, I know, I have a lot like this where they're probably the same exact color, but honestly, I'm probably gonna keep them all. <laughs> just so pretty. Okay, then we have Simple Colors Hot Pink Tights. It's one of their um, sheerer jellies. I'm keeping all of Simple Colors jellies. They have really beautiful formulas and they have like little sparse, I don't know if you can see it, but little sparse sparkles that run through them and these are really nice. They dry matte and they're just really beautiful. You can wear them on their own. I've used them in jelly sandwiches many times. Not this one yet, I haven't worn this one yet, but the line as a whole, I've gotten a lot of use out of. Okay, then we have Nidal, your one in a melon, beautiful. I have a bunch of Nidal's creams and they're so beautiful. 
pretty much all of them have that I've tried have amazing formulas. This one, let me see. Compared to the OPI, I might do some comparisons. Let me set this one aside, do some comparisons. Okay. Then we have Polish for Days Raspberry Chocolate. I'm definitely keeping this one. I got this one from my friend. And this is so pretty. It's really nice in, this, um, in the fall. Okay, then we have Believe Beauty Kiss and Tell. Some of the Believe Beauties have really nice formulas and some of them have questionable formulas i don't remember i feel like this one has a good formula but i can't quite remember and i feel like i might have a couple pinks that are kind of similar to this so i'm going to set this aside for now so that i can do some comparisons if i come across anything similar okay then we have china glaze sweeter than sugar i'm definitely keeping this one look at this it's freaking out the camera this is so bright and beautiful i really love this one absolutely gorgeous I wore this one last summer. I must have worn it on my toes, and it was amazing. I'm, I'm saying that because when I was doing, I just did my yearly favorites video. Um, I didn't come across this one in my um, swatches because I keep track of all the minis I wore for the year. I keep them in a folder, and I didn't come across this, which means I must have worn it on my toes and not my nails because this definitely would have been in my yearly favorites. Okay, then we have Zoya's Briar. So pretty. I have a, a bunch where they're kind of like rosies, but then they're all like a tone darker from each other. And I keep meaning to do a Skittle with them, but I just haven't done it yet. I'm gonna keep that one for now. I'm gonna set it aside to see how many I have that are you know similar. Okay, then we have Essie's Love Yourself to Pieces. Beautiful, I really like this one. I've already worn this one, it has a beautiful formula. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, then we have Hollow Tacos. The floor is guava. I haven't worn this one. I feel like the swatch on this was just okay. It wasn't anything special, but because Hollow Tacos are expensive and it had a decent formula, I am going to keep this one. Um, I'm gonna try to pull this out this summer and put some kind of like pretty topper on top. Okay, then we have Essie's Watermelon, right? Yes, this one is amazing. I love this. I'm not getting rid of this one. I got this one because of Carolina, and I'm so glad. It's gorgeous, and it was in my favorite, one of my favorite manis of the year. Okay, then we have Zoya's Harper. This one's really pretty. I could see myself decluttering this one in the future, but for now, I want to hold on to it. It's just so sparkly and pretty but I haven't worn it in a long time. But it's one of those polishes that I feel like I should keep. Okay, then we have Dance Legend. These, some of them have names, some of them just have numbers, and then some of them don't seem to have a name or a number. This one seems to not have a name or a number, but this is really pretty. And these, I got all the Dance Legends that I have, I got them all from Olga. This one has a really nice formula. I'm gonna set this one aside to see if I have any more of these kind of like bright, dark raspberries. I don't think I do, but just in case, I'll set that one aside. Okay, then we have China Glaze Strawberry Fields. Definitely not getting rid of this. This is a classic. I used to wear this on my toes all the time. And I believe years ago, I think before I even had, a, it was before I had a YouTube channel, I decluttered this and then I pulled it back out. I was like, why would you declutter this? This is just a classic. China glaze. Okay, then we have, I'm trying to make some more room. Running out of room here. Okay, and then we have Color Clubs Delta New. Beautiful. Definitely keeping this one. Look how bright that is. It's freaking out the camera. I've already worn this one, it was so pretty. Okay, then we have Zoya's Wendy. This is beautiful. It used to be more of a true coral, kind of like, um, I believe it was very similar to Sweeter Than Sugar by China Glaze, and it's changed colors. It's darkened up quite a bit. I want to swatch this and see if the formula is still good. If the formula is good, I'll keep it because it is a pretty color. 
although it has changed. But a lot of, um, a couple of their Zoyas that I've had, I've noticed, and I only learned, I learned this from Carolina. She was telling me that all of her old Zoyas have gotten really jelly. And I noticed that a couple of my old Zoyas have gotten really jelly as well. So I want to swatch this on my wheel and see how the formula is, and then I'll determine if I'll keep that one. Okay, then we have Orly's Passion Fruit. I'm definitely keeping this. Look at this. I got this one because of Krista, and this is amazing. This was part of my favorites video too. This is, this is hot, hot neon pink. Definitely keeping that one. Okay, then we have Color Club's Cherry Icy. I'm 100% keeping this one. This one is amazing. In fact, this one, the only way I could get a hold of this one, I was looking on every website that co um, carries Color Club, and the only way I could get a hold of this one was, I believe it was Trans Design, but it came in a duo. It came with the cream, and then it came with a gel version, and I don't do gel, but it was the only way I could get a hold of it, and for the duo, it was like $7. So I am decluttering the gel. I did it off camera, but I have the gel version of this that I'm decluttering. Okay, then we have Salon Perfect's One of Their Dippin' Dots. This is birthday cake. I'm keeping this. The Dippin' Dot collection is probably my favorite collection of any mainstream. Beautiful. Definitely keeping that. Okay, then we have Dreamland Lacquer All Wine All the Time. This one is really pretty. Worn this one a couple times. I believe I wore this over, I wore it on its own, and I believe I wore it over black before. Okay, then we have Bluebird Lacquer Gifted and Talented. Really pretty. Okay, I'm keeping that one. Then we have Essie's Signature Smile. Now this one, before I started my declutter, I pulled out my declutter bag, which by the way, this is my declutter bag. It has all my declutters from the first one. Um, and I still had a few rolling around from the last time I did a declutter, and this was one of them. And I, I was looking at this, I was like, why did I declutter this? This is beautiful, has an amazing formula. This is the exact shade of pink that I love to wear. And so I pulled it back out because I was really questioning why I decluttered this in the first place. And I re-swatched it, and it's beautiful, so I'm keeping this. I don't know why I ever decluttered it in the first place. Okay, then we have another KB Shimmer. This one is Color Me Rad, and this is beautiful. Look at that, it's so bright, you guys. So pretty. Okay, then we have LA Colors, what is this one called? Hocus Pocus. These are really pretty, I have a bunch of these, and they're kind of sheer. You can either build them up in like three or four coats on their own, or they're really sheer and sparkly. You can use them as a topper. And this one is really pretty. So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, then we have China Glaze High Hopes. That's pretty, I haven't worn this one yet, but I wanna try to get to this in the summer on the toes. That's pretty. I don't remember what the formula is on this one. Let me set this one aside because it does look like a bunch of these are kind of similar-ish. So I've got all of these set aside. I'll compare all of these and then come back at the end to let you know. Okay. Then we have Emily Damali Parallel World. I'm definitely keeping this one. This is one of the first Emily Damalis that I got. They're kind of like, they're kind of like multi-chrome shimmers. And this is what made me fall in love with the brand years ago. And I went crazy and bought from them like nonstop for probably like a year and a half. And then I kind of fizzled out on the brand as a, not completely, but I just wasn't crazy obsessive about the brand as I was in the beginning. But this is one of the most beautiful ones that I have from them. So definitely keeping that. Okay, then we have Zoya's LC. I wanna swatch this one. I don't know how I feel about the color. This was one of the ones that I got years and years ago where everyone said it was like their perfect red. Swatches made it look really red. And then I got it and it's just very pink. Like it's not red to me. So I wanna swatch this one to see, to remind myself how I feel about the formula. 
Okay, then we have OPIs. She's a bad Mufaletta. I love this one, it's so pretty. But I wanna compare it with all of these other ones setting that I've set aside because one, two, three, four, five, I have like six of them already that are very, very similar. So I'll be swatching that off camera. Okay, then we have Penelope Lou's Within Temptation. This is so pretty. Oh, this is the one. I was thinking of the Dreamland. <clears throat> this is the one that I wore over black and it was so beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one. I know these are kind of similar. But I think they're different enough and they're both so beautiful. I'm just gonna keep them both. Okay, then we have Orly's Beach Cruiser, very beautiful. I had a couple years ago two Orly's that I got at TJ Maxx at separate times and they ended up being pretty much identical. And I did keep this one and I decluttered the other one. So I'm gonna keep this one because I don't have another one like this one. Okay, then we have OPI Strawberry Margarita. I really like this one, this is beautiful. It's a perfect kind of like I always say mid-tone, but I don't know how else to describe this shade of pink. It's not Barbie pink, but it's not, I don't know. I don't know how to describe these shades of pink, but really, really beautiful and has a really nice formula. Okay, then we have Caribbean Temptation by China Glaze. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. Definitely gonna keep that one. Then we have OPI's Aurora Berry Alice. This one is so pretty. This one, let me see. Are they similar? Yeah, let me set this one aside and swatch that with the Zoya. Okay, then we have Bluebird, that's a wrap from their um, Holiday Advent 2022. I haven't worn this one yet, but it's pretty. Okay. And then we have Dollish Polish. Oh, I was going to say strawberry something. It's very delicious. And this is meant to be um, like strawberry shortcake. This was from a couple years ago. I believe the theme was like 80s TV. And this was meant to be um, strawberry shortcake. Really pretty. Has a nice formula. So I'll keep that one. We have Polish for Days, Seeing is Believing. I'm 100% keeping this one. This is gorgeous. Look how bright and glowy that is. How neon. So, so pretty. Okay, and then we have China Glaze. This will do nicely. I want, this is so bright. I wanna swatch this. I feel like the formula is definitely matte. I feel like the formula is not the best, but I don't remember. And it's so bright. It's beautiful, but I want to test the formula and then I'll decide. Okay, then we have Zoya's Everly. One of their scattered hollows. I'm gonna keep this one. This one I feel like was advertised as a red, but this is definitely a pinky red to me, so I put it with my pinks. Okay, then we have Quiotic Polish Wabi Sabi. Pretty this one okay then we have OPI's my solar clock is ticking this one is really pretty this one let me see I'm gonna set this aside and I'll compare I think I mean looking at it on camera they all look like they're different tones but I'm gonna compare them all together anyways all these kind of like darker Barryish colors, so I'm gonna set those there. Okay, then we have Orly's Afterglow. I'm keeping this. This is amazing. Look, it's freaking out the camera. So beautiful. Kind of similar, I know. Similar in colors to all of these, but they're all so beautiful, and I just love them all. And they're all slightly different from each other. And I know, like the average person doesn't need to have them all, but as a collector and as you know, a nail polish addict, I do need to have them all. Okay, another Emily Damali. This one is Undertones. I've had this one for so many years and it's so beautiful. And I keep meaning to wear this and I just never get to it, but it's so gorgeous. Look at that. I need to make a point to wear this one this spring. 
So I'm gonna put that on my rack this spring. Okay, then we have Uber Chick Bahama, beautiful. So pretty. It's one of their hollows. Okay, then we have, I got this one from Olga, I believe, Illamasca Collide. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Pretty serious Princess Plutonium. This is so pretty. This was like one of the first ones where they did um, like the neons with the black flakes and now everyone puts black flakes in everything and I love them all. Okay, then we have Orly's Put to the Top Down. This one's getting really bad ugly bottle syndrome, but it's so bright and fun. I'm gonna keep that one. Definitely keeping all my Orly neons, they're so good. Then we have Essie's Big Bag Theory. I can't remember, I wanna swatch this one and it's kind of in the rosy family anyways. I forget what the formula was like. I feel like this one might've been gloopy when I got it. Let me see. Yeah, it, it's looking really gloopy. So I'm gonna swatch this to see if I love the color enough to keep it and then I'll restore it. But let me set that aside with all the rosies. Okay, then we have a Julie polish. This one is Faith, and it's really tiny. Faith, that's pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have Polish for Days Ruska. Oh my God, this is amazing. I haven't worn it yet, but the swatches on this is so gorgeous. Keeping that one. Okay, then we have Essie's No Shade here. This one is new-ish. I think I got it last summer and then didn't get to it, but this is so pretty. I'm feeling like I'm seeing quite a bit of this shade of pink. I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna pull out all the ones that I feel like are kind of similar and I'll swatch all those and then I'll come back at the end. Okay, then we have OPI, two timing the zones. This one is really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, Polish for Days Zero. I got this from a friend and I love the Nightmare Before Christmas, so I'm definitely not getting rid of this. Look at that, so pretty. Should this go with my oranges? What do you think? Let me know. I feel like looking at it in the bottle, I'm thinking this should be an orange, but then it's also kind of giving me kind of the same vibe as these and I keep these in my pinks. But let me know what, what you guys think. But I'm keeping it regardless. Okay, then we have Bettina's, what is this one called? Um, Nata Timeless Natalia. I don't know if I love this one. Let me swatch it again and I'll come back and let you guys know. Okay, then we have Restored by Polish Better Together. I'm definitely keeping this. Crystal actually made this one on camera. Okay, then we have LA Colors. What is this one called? Legend. I think this one has a really weird jellyish formula that I don't love. I'm going to look at my swatch pictures and then come back, but I'm feeling like I'll probably declutter that one. Okay, then we have Simple Colors She Stings from their B collection. I'm definitely keeping this one. Look at those beautiful flakies. Okay, then we have another Blue Bird. This one is Slade Ain't So. This is so pretty. Look at that. So, so pretty. I love their Shattered Hollow collection. They're so pretty. Their formula. Okay, then we have a Night Owl. This one is Fizzing Wisbees. I have several from this collection and they're beautiful. I haven't worn this one yet, but I love the formula. It's got like little tiny glowy flakes and it's just so pretty. Okay, then we have Native War Paints Apple Picking. I haven't worn this one in a while, but I look at how pretty that is. And I used to wear this on the toes all the time. And this is one of the only native war paints I, I used to have a lot. They're one of the first indie brands that I got into because it was really all I knew. Um, them and like KB Shimmer were like the first two indie brands that I had really heard of that I, you know, bought from. Native war paints, I've decluttered almost all of their polishes because their formulas just aren't the best and they definitely don't 
hold up, but this one has held up. It's beautiful. And I won't be getting rid of this one. Okay, then we have Cirque Colors Day Tripper. So pretty. I need to get this to this one over the summer. Look at that gorgeous glow. Okay. Then we have OPI's Madam President. Beautiful. I'm going to set this one aside. I feel like I might have a couple kind of in this family. Oh, maybe... No, that's definitely much darker, but I'm still gonna set it aside in case I've come across any others that are similar to it. Okay, Simple Colors Popped. This one is pretty, I like this one. This is from their like neon collection that has those pretty gold shimmers in there. Okay, then we have KB Shimmers Fruit Slices Yummy Yummy. This is one that I think I'm going to Franken. I'm gonna keep it, but I'm gonna franken it. So I'm gonna set that one aside so that I can franken it later. Okay, then we have Orly's Can You Dig It? This is so pretty, love this one. I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have Anchor and Hearts Desert Paint. This is from Polish Pickup April 2019. This is one of the very first Polish Pickup polishes I ever bought. The first month that I started buying was February 2019. Look how bright and fun that is. It's beautiful. Okay, then we have Simple Colors Amazing from their B collection. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, then we have OPI's Party in My Cabana. I'm gonna compare this when I do, I have like a couple where they're kind of in the same, well this is darker, but I have a couple that they're in the same color family so I'm going to compare that okay then we have fair maidens lucid dream I haven't worn this one yet but very pretty I'm definitely going to keep this one okay two more and then we have china glaze shut the front door I don't think I like this I got this one at the dollar store and I believe this is one of their hollows and their hollows are so popular but it doesn't really I don't it doesn't really look hollow. It's just kind of like a frosty shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I don't love it. Okay, then we have Essie's Ole Caliente. And this is so bright and beautiful. Definitely keeping that one. All right, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to swatch a bunch of these, do comparisons, and come back and let you know if I'm decluttering any of them. So I'll be back. Okay, so I ended up swatching evenly an entire nail wheel. I'm not gonna go over all of them. There's just a few that I did wanna point out. Um, it's not quite coming across on camera, but all of these, on camera they're looking pretty similar. But in real life, they're all different. And I don't just mean like the tiniest drop that you know only an obsessive crazy person would appreciate. They're very different. Each one has its own undertone. They're, each one's darker. So I'm gonna be keeping all of these. There's one that I want, I'll talk about in a second. And then as you can see, everything else, they're just, they're very different. Like this one is much darker than this one. This one is much darker than that. This one is completely different. That's completely different. And these are all very different. Okay, so let me, there's a few that I did wanna point out. So the LA colors, remember I was saying I wasn't quite sure. I thought it had maybe like a weird jelly formula. That's this one, and this is beautiful. It has an amazing formula. It is kind of like a jelly, but it's an opaque jelly. So really, it's just like a very squishy, juicy pink, and this one is really fun. So I'm gonna keep that one. Then I wanted to talk about the Wendy. I believe it was this one. So it has changed colors. I was looking at my original swatch, and it has lost a lot of its brightness. However, it is still pretty, and it has a nice formula. So I'm gonna keep the Wendy. And then the Essie one, what is this one called? Big Bag Theory. This is the one that I thought had kind of a weird formula. Let me find it. It did have a weird formula. It's a little, sorry, I'm like so close to the camera. It's a little bit thick. However, the color is so beautiful. I wanna say it's this one. And look how rich and saturated that is. So I'm going to just add a couple drops of thinner to this because it's beautiful. And like I said, it's not coming across on camera but it's very different they're all very different from each other so i'm going to keep that one 
This is the one that I was kind of on the fence about. I like the theory of this. I have, I think, three by Bettina that have this kind of like sheer shimmery formula. And this is the one that I don't think I like. And I swatched it, it's this one. It's just very frosty. It's not even that sparkly. So it's just kind of like a metallic frost and I just don't love it. And if I remember correctly, I have tried playing with this on my nail wheel with like undies and I just, I don't love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This one is Timeless Natalia. So that one's going. And then I want to talk about the This Will Do Nicely by China Glaze. This one is the one that I said dries matte and I wasn't sure what the formula has a beautiful formula. It's bright, it's freaking out the camera. This is beautiful, I compared it to, it's, it's not color accurate on camera, it's like freaking out the camera. Um, I compared it to some of, like, I didn't swatch it, but I just held up my polishes to each other. Um, it's very different to my Orly Neon, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. And then I re-swatched the Signature Smile, the one that I talked about that I found in my declutter bag. And it is, where is it? I don't know which one it is. Oh, it's this one. And it's really pretty. And then I looked at my swatches because when I decluttered this, I re-swatched it and the swatch is really pretty. So I'm keeping that one as well. And then everything else, I'm gonna be keeping all of these. All the other ones that I did comparisons on, I'm keeping them. So this time around, I'm only decluttering three. I'm decluttering the China Glaze. Shut the front door. And then I'm decluttering this hideous, marvelous one. And then I'm gonna declutter the Bettina Timeless Natalia. So only three this time around, but remember I did say if I only declutter one or two, I'm happy. So I did three, so I'm happy with that. All right guys, leave any comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye.